Could the James Webb Space Telescope explain what happened to the disappearing submarines in 1968? The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is a space telescope that focuses on infrared astronomy. Its considerably improved infrared resolution and sensitivity will allow it to view objects too old, far, or dim to be seen by other telescopes. The project began in 1996 with a $500 million budget and an initial deployment date of 2007. Unfortunately, many delays and cost overruns were experienced, including a substantial redesign in 2005. First, let's talk about the essential things you need to know about the James Webb Telescope. What can the telescope detect? The telescope will be able to peer into stellar nurseries, which are where stars and their planetary systems are born. The findings will provide light on how dust and gas clouds collapse to generate stars. The James Webb Space Telescope will search for the first galaxies in the early cosmos. In addition, Webb will be able to see planets orbiting beyond Mars and satellites, comets, and asteroids. At the wavelengths Webb can view, many essential chemicals, ices, and minerals exhibit distinct signatures. It will also keep an eye on the weather of different planets and the Moon. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope may detect signs of alien life by detecting whether the climates of planets encircling nearby stars are modified by that life. Disappearing Submarine in 1968 Deepwater submarine sinkings are uncommon but lethal, and the causes are rarely fully understood. For example, in five months in 1968, four submarines from four countries were lost with all hands. Their reasons are still unknown more than 50 years later. The US Navy lost its second submarine, the USS Thresher. It was one of the four mysterious submarine disappearances in 1968. The others were the Israeli submarine INS Dhaka, the French submarine Minerve, and the Soviet Union submarine K-129. When did the submarines disappear? The Israeli T-class submarine INS Dhaka was launched in 1943 and served in the British Navy before being purchased by Israel in 1965. It was the first submarine to go missing. Ships from the United Kingdom, Greece, Turkey, Lebanon, and Israel searched the area for days though the effort was complicated by regional tensions. It had a crew of 69 people who were not declared dead until the search for the sub was over in 1968. The cause of the sinking of the Dakar has never been determined. The Israelis initially presumed that the Soviets were to blame. However, an internal explosion is also doubtful because Dakar was not carrying torpedoes and the wreck was primarily intact. The second that disappeared was the French submarine Minerve, which ushered 52 crew members. It never arrived, but was found in 2019 by Ocean Infinity, an American ocean mapping company, part of a French government-sponsored search for the submarine. The sub was broken up into three pieces and spread out over a 984-foot area. Because the French government decided not to raise it, the cause of the sinking is unlikely to be discovered. The third was the Soviet Union submarine K-129. It had a crew of 98. When K-129 failed to transmit a radio message on time, the frantic search began, and after two months, the Soviets gave up. However, the US Navy did not and found it after five months as the CIA was keen to obtain the sub and launched Project Azorian to retrieve the sub in the hope to acquire Soviet Cobooks, SSN-5 missiles, and nuclear torpedoes. For this, the CIA persuaded billionaire Howard Hughes to utilize his deep-sea mining company, Global Marine Incorporated, as a face for a CIA-funded craft specifically designed to recover and transport the K-129 to the United States. However, apart from six bodies, the CIA has never publicly revealed what it retrieved, though two nuclear torpedoes and other intelligence items are thought to have been obtained. The fourth submarine that went missing in 1968 was the USS Scorpion, a Skipjack-class nuclear-powered attack submarine. The ship was returning from a patrol in the Mediterranean when it went missing near the Atlantic with a crew of 99 people. The sub received was repaired in 1967 and set out for a Mediterranean patrol. Scorpion never showed up. A giant search effort was launched on both sides of the Atlantic, involving dozens of ships, submarines, and aircraft but Scorpion and its crew were declared presumed lost. After four months of the search, the sub was found 10,000 feet under the water of the Azores. The submarine was shattered into three pieces, the engine room had crumpled, and everything else was also pretty much destroyed. The very reason for the sinking was never apparent. However, 
Several hatches on the sub's hull were open, and the batteries were later discovered to be defective. These submarines disappeared due to an unknown cause that is still not entirely known, even with the technology we possess in today's world. Even though there are many theories about how the submarine sunk, none have been considered the correct one. Theories about the reason for disappearing INS Dakar Israel rejected that Dakar sank due to malicious activity and stated that Dakar was involved in crash diving exercises on its return travel and was probably lost due to a mechanical failure. However, on the 25th of April 1968, the commander of the Israeli Navy stated that Dakar sank on 24th of January 1968, two days before being declared lost due to technical or human malfunctioning and not foul play. Number 2. Minerve Lieutenant Andre Forve, Minerve's new captain, had spent 7,000 hours immersed over four years on torpedoes of the same class with no troubles. Hence, the highly terrible weather at the time of her going missing was the only known factor that could have caused her to sink. Number 3. K-129 According to Soviet Navy theory, K-129 slipped below its operating depth while in snorkel mode. There might have been a mechanical failure or an ineffective crew response to such an event. It is possible for the boat to be flooded to the point of sinking. After this, four alternate theories were developed for the same submarine. First was that there might have been a hydrogen explosion in the batteries while charging, or a collision with USS Swordfish, a missile explosion caused by a leaking missile door seal, and lastly, intentional or unintentional scuttle by the crew due to K129 violating standard operating procedures. But then again, all of these are just theories and not a proven fact. Number 4. USS Scorpion The Mark 46 silver zinc battery used in the torpedo had a tendency to overheat, resulting in a fire powerful enough to cause a low-order explosion of the warhead in extreme cases. If such an explosion had occurred, it could have opened the boat's sizable torpedo loading hatch, causing the sub to flood and sink. Twenty years after Scorpion went missing, Dr. John Craven Fountain ordered emergency methods to bring the boat to the surface. Still, it descended reaching failure depth and imploding in 90 seconds. Craven's sub-theory is at the head of a list of probable causes of Scorpion's loss. Can the James Webb detect missing submarines? Considering that James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's largest and most powerful telescope, which can detect almost anything on the Earth and in space. At this very moment, it is orbiting at an intangible point in space known as the Earth-Sun Lagrange point. Due to the terrific infrared technology, satellites, and a mirror with a diameter of 6.5 meters or 21.3 feet approximately that focuses on the light into the most compact region of the detectors installed in the telescope, it is highly possible that it might be able to detect the signals of the missing submarines through the radiations, which is the heat transfer of the electromagnetic waves even after all these years. It has four types of cameras that assist the telescope to have a clear view, even if there are obstacles such as thick dust clouds or very dim stars. Thus, it would be safe to say that the torpedoes which are still missing can be found by the heat waves they transmit, which can be caught by the James Webb telescope. It is said that if the sky is clear at night, you can view this telescope. You won't be able to see it with the naked eye, but if you have a telescope, you will be able to see it. That was it for today. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you want to get updated about our newest videos, click the notification bell to never miss one. Stay tuned to this channel till the next video, and until then, see you soon.